Video player. Heading. Yay, we got no advertisements this time! Testify! Mmm, cookie. He's flat out of him. It's your boy. The kind of pimp. All right, strip the music. TJ Money's over at Pop Lakes. We're back in uh, Ramsey. I had myself a delicious Girl Scout cookie. You know, Girl Scouts. Girl Scout cookies. That magical and mystical time of year when the Girl Scouts of America torture parents by having their little girls and, uh, you know, their parents sell you delicious, non nutritional cookies for $4 a box. You got your tag alongs, you got your thin mints. Your coconut cluster fucks, oatmeal raisins, and all sorts of other delicious flavors. They want you to be in the, in the 100 Club, where you guys saw 100 boxes to go on a trip to Washington. They meet the present day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Testify! Testify! You know. So, uh, as I said, up straight, rocking the squares hat. Yeah. So I bought a box for my niece. You know, I bought a box of Tagalongs, because Tagalongs are awesome sauce! You know, thank you, Caroline. Uh, I also want to give a shout-out to, uh, Jessica. Hey, Jess! How you doing? Alright, I'm doing take two of this episode, because I somehow lost take one. Yeah. You know, I have to re-record the whole thing now, but that's okay. It's how we roll. It's how we play here in the Awesome Sauce Studios. You know. With my shoulder and my arm as if I've fallen off from tendonitis. Rocking my scores hat. Scores. The greatest gentleman's club in all of New York City. Uh, 28th Street between 10th and 11th Avenue. Feel good for the phone number because once again I forgot. I guess I just got back in the studio. Did laundry. I saw my, 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 my other nieces uh, play with Shrek with my best friend Jessica. That was so awesome. I had an amazing weekend. Hey, Jess. Uh, I'll call you later. Can't wait for the call tonight, but, you know, uh, you know, if you're blind and visually impaired and you're between the ages of 18 and 50, or is it 18 and 40, I don't know, uh, you should give Trish Ebo a call at 201-996. 9100. That's the offices for heightened, heightened in independence. Hip. That's what you're evil if you're sight impaired. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, um, you know, it's a great way to meet other visually impaired people. If you just lost your sight, it's a great resource. You'll learn about everything that's available to you to make your life a better and most awesome. So you can be like Daredevil. You know, Daredevil, Matt Murdock. The Man Without Fear, the greatest blind superhero of all time, and if you dispute it, I'll come to your house and I'll show you what's up, essays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But, uh, Girl Scout cookies are awesome. Sauce! Shrek, this weekend was awesome. Sauce! Joe did a great job as, uh, Shrek. Tater killed it as Docky. I got to spend some great time with a great friend of the show. Jessica, as always, I thank you for your friendship. I thank you for hanging out with me Saturday night at the play. It was just amazing, and it was awesome. All the parents should be proud. All the kids should be proud. Chad Flynn, you're a hell of a director. I thank you for a beautiful night. I thank you. Keep up putting on lots of many plays for years to come. Dear High School, go check out Mr. Flynn. And uh, get yourself in the marching band or something. He's awesome. So now, I open up with Underneath the Boardwalk from the Drifters for a reason. Because I made 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now, the greatest convention on the East Coast will be coming to Atlantic City, New Jersey. www.acbc.com That's www.acbc.com You know, and it's the Atlantic City Comic Con. And it's going to be amazing and fabulous with an amazing guest list. And for starters, you got Stan the Man Lee. Stan Lee, 92 years old, going strong, signing autographs, going wicky picky pow with the picky picky pay, yo! You know? Stan Lee, he created Spider Man, the Fantastic Four. Without Stan Lee, there wouldn't be comic books today! He created the modern comic book, yo, for what it is! So you better best show respect! Now, cast the fire! Cast the fire! Awesome. So. But for, you know, go shake his hand. Go meet the living legend himself, Excelsior, Mr. Marvel Movie Cameo, Stan Lee. You know, if you're a hot chick, you know that type of hot chick, blonde hair, blue eyes, big tits, nice thighs, type of girl that walked out those guys, maybe you can be a Stan Lee groupie for the weekend. Go get him his coffee, go make sure, you know, him and his wife, Joan, I know, have everything they need. Be a great volunteer for the staff over at Mike and Mark over at the office. You know? But Stan Lee's awesome. He's amazing. And without Stan Lee and his creations, there would be no comic book industry today. So let's show some art. Show some respect. Testify! Testify! Just have a grand old time. And just give Stan much love and much respect. You know, uh... Now... This is as a Kevin Smith fan. Kevin Smith will be there Saturday night. Q&A. Jason Mewes will be there all week and all. Jay and Silent Bob in the his house. But they also got... They got Stan Lee, Kevin Smith, and for 40 bucks extra on your ticket, you can get the in-circle seating they call it or something. Go to www.acbc.com for more information. You know, uh, but, uh, you know, it's Kevin Smith and Janice on the Bob. You know, the greatest filmmakers of all time! You know? But they also got Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. He was in Walking Dead. But he was also in the greatest movie of all motherfucking time. Now, the greatest movie of all time turns 20 years old this year. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, you mole rat. Greatest fucking movie of all time. You better not, you know, dispute it or I'll come and testify. And I'm never doing that again. I don't have the voice for it. You know. If anything, if anyone thinks I should start singing on this show, period, so send me a, a voicemail that I can play on air at 201 Or send an email that I will read on the air at comicpimpvip at gmail. But Michael Rooker was, was Mr. Spedding. Brandy's dad in Mallrats. You know. But here's an idea. And I have no clue why I'm giving this off this air. But Mike, Mark, do with the suggestion as you will. You know, because I'm full of ideas today. I got ideas. I got ideas. I'm going to flip the hat because I got ideas. Now I'm hatless. Trying to do the show now, hatless. 
Put this the hat right here, yo. I had too much sugar before the show today. I'm sorry, guys. They have the Girl Scouts and their cookies. But what, what, wasn't this whole nation going, like, more health conscious, but yet you let your, your prepubescent teenage girl, prepubescent girl, fuck it. Oh, duh. Like, I could talk today. You know, little girls sell cookies, which are high in sugar and carbohydrates and all the worst chemicals ever. But yet, you're going to promote healthy eating from fruits and vegetables? What's up with that? Mixed messages. And I don't get it. But enough of cookies. C is the cookie, and it's good enough for me. Yeah. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster owes me 20 bucks. Someone tell the Cookie Monster he owes me 20 bucks. Testify! But, you got Michael Rooker who played Mr. Spedding. You got Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. Jay and Silent Bob. You got Stan Lee. Why not? Book Jason Lee, because we can't book Affleck, because Affleck's got important things to do. He has to be, I am Batman. And Batman vs. Superman? And yes, he was in Daredevil, and Daredevil was awesome. So, was not a bad movie. You want to blame someone bad for Daredevil? Mark Steven Johnson, who couldn't direct the hefty bag, let alone the movie. Yeah, I said it. You know, uh, Thank God Preacher's going to Seth Rogen as a TV show on AMC. And that Mark Steven Johnson thing was never made. Ghost Rider sucked. Fun! But Mark Steven Johnson, you can't direct movies. You and that... The guy who makes The Unbreakable needs to just like hang out, go back to film school, come up with something good, and give us something that's worthable. But Daredevil's going to be on Netflix on uh, April 10th. All the episodes, Charlie Cox, gonna rock it. Yeah. But, like I was saying, you, you book Jason Lee. You book Sharon Doherty, who played Renee. You get even Super Lee, who played William. You know, the guy who couldn't see the sailboat. You have a total Morass cast reunion, which will be awesome. So and at the end, it was like you could, you could, you know, Charge a VIP ticket of 100 bucks to get in. You get uh, 150 This way you get like an autographed poster and shit too. You got Kevin Smith. You do a Q&A. With a 20th anniversary screening of Mall Rats. Now that, my friends, would be awesome. Sauce! Because Mall Rats is the greatest motherfucking movie of all time. Now test the fire and test the sky. Jason Lee is Brody Bruce. Jeremy London. Is, you can get Jeremy London too. And Brian O'Halloran. Brian O'Halloran was pseudo number three. Pseudo number three. Uh, but you know, hey, Jason Lee knows uh, Dave at Alvin and Chipmunk movies. He was. Jason and even Sibylla were My Name is Earl. Uh, I mean, this is the greatest movie of all time. All kidding aside, Kevin, Jay, Jason, Sharon, thank you for making a movie that got a blind kid off his ass. And help them develop that life is awesome and amazing. Thank you. Thank you for creating something that, you know, I've... And if anyone has a copy on bootleg VHS or DVD, they can send me the ABC cut. Email comicpimpvip at gmail, because that's the only version of this movie I don't have. I even have Laserdisc. No, I'll have props and whatnot. But what we shot... What is, I'll have copies of the companion book for sale in the Awesome Sauce store when it's up. And but I'm definitely gonna get a copy of the companion book signed at the show. I'll be set up wheeling, dealing, fish down a ceiling. Two more times Yeah, but I am so excited for this convention. It's gonna be awesome and amazing. But I uh, I got full of ideas. So Mark, Mike, ACBC, www.acbc.com. Atlantic City Boardwalk Con. Reserve your rooms. I'm going, I'm going to be at the Sheraton. I think I'm going, to, I'm going to have plans, which I'm going to reveal later. I'm working on something with my good friends over at LA Direct Models. If you're a hot girl who's at least 18 years old, and you want to make really good movies or be in modeling, 
or do some webcamming or something adult like, go to ladirectmodels.com, email Chris, see what all the particulars are, and just go insane in the membrane, insane in the brain. Yeah, you can see I'm insane in the brain today. It's all because the Girl Scouts and their cookies. They drove me to make a podcast where I'm hyped up on sugar and I've got a cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. But, uh, you know, Kevin can stand over and run his legendary Guardian Devil, Daredevil issues 1 through 8, his Green Arrow, um, Quiver, and Sounds of Violence, Green Arrow 1 for 15, his Batman trilogy, Wilding Gyre, um, Cacophony, Green Hornet comics, his first comic book work was on Double Feature 1. First comic book story of Jay and Silent Bob. You know? It's awesome. Sauce! Now, you know, but you're going to have great guests. You're going to have, you know, and yeah, Deborah McGraw, I got a letter from you. De for everyone who didn't watch episode 5, Deborah is my VR counselor over at the Commission for the Blind. She gave me a bunch of sh talked a bunch of shit. Blind people, you should just be safe. I'll give you this job at Friendship House. And Friendship House, for those not to know, you know, there's a sheltered workshop. We put apples in a box. You put apples in the box, and it's soul crushing, and it's dream smashing, and I, Blind Adam, the comic pimp, the pimp of pips. Who was influenced by great men like Kevin Smith and Russell Fisk, the Kingpin of Crime, and Quentin Tarantino, and Dennis Hoff, and all the show heroes. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't putting no apples in no box. You know, this is, I'm gonna live the dream today. I'm gonna learn today. I'm gonna educate today. And we will testify, Deborah. I will, I will live out my dream or go bankrupt trying. For every high school kid who's visually impaired and doesn't know what they want to do yet, and has to deal with a social worker like you, who basically, oh, why don't you just go to a two-year community college that's in New Jersey instead of going where you're in your dream university and going for it? You know? Uh-uh. I will be that crazy, insane in the membrane guy who's going to live the dream. And I will become the voice of the voiceless, or whatever that is. But, uh, hang on, I gotta write something on the board. I don't have the whiteboard up yet, but... You know, Sunday, that's Saturday and Sunday. The sexiest woman, I may be blind, but I'm not that fucking blind. She's got the hottest voice in all of Hollywood. Her name is Willa Halla. Willa Halla. She was, uh, the younger sister to Nisha Barton. On the OC. You'll remember Nisha Barton. Back in 2004, 2005, she was like the hottest thing since sliced bread and vagina. Um, you know, it was on Fox. Rachel Bilson, who's in uh, Heart of Dixie now, is also on the show. Um, you know, Adam Brody and shit. Look it up. It's awesome sauce. You know, she was a sister there. She was Agnes Andrews on uh, the, the, one of the other greatest shows that the CW had. Gossip Girl. That yeah, Gossip Girl was awesome. You know, Gossip Girl, Blake Lively. The other chick who's... You know, the other chick... No, Blair. Blair was... She was Blair one off on the show. It's just all totally amazing. It's a great show. You know, watch it on you Watch it on Hulu Plus and shit. And Hulu Plus where you can binge watch, binge watch all your shows. And when you're at Atlantic City Comic Con, you can also get all your superhero stuff! Courtesy of SuperheroStuff.com! Because they're awesome sauce! But Willa Holla will be there. And because she's the most highest and sexiest voice in all Hollywood, I, Blind Adam, will be giving her a trophy. So, let's go to Trophy Store. I think there's one in Times Square somewhere. I'll use Siri, because Siri knows absolutely nothing but everything at the same time. Damn technology at my fingertips. I think it's all tough. Buy her a trophy. I'm not going to present her a trophy. Because, you know, that's, that's what I want to do. I'm going to give her a trophy. 
and I'm going to give her a hug, and maybe buy her a slice of pizza, and just say thank you. Thank you for being in a show that inspired me to go to Leader Dog. Leader Dog's for the blind out in uh, Rochester Hills, Michigan, and learn how to use a cane properly. Thank you for being on a show, Stephen O'Mell, great actor, you know. You know, Stephen O'Mell and Doug Ramsey and all you guys for creating a show, Andrew Kreisberg and Greg Olenti for creating a show with the sexiest woman in all of Hollywood. Yeah, my voice. If you want to dispute that, 201-675-2104. You know, um, and I can't wait to just meet her, get an autograph, give her the trophy for the sexiest voice in all of Hollywood. The Golden Retriever Award, I'm calling it. I guess I'm just going to let all my cards out today. Because it's awesome. So The battling cry of every pimp that's awesome. It's awesome. So you know, uh, but well, she's a great actress. You know, she was great as Agnes. I don't remember much of the OC because I haven't watched it in years, but I might just watch an episode now. But she's playing it, and then, once again, tying it back into Kevin Smith. In the Kevin Smith one, in issue two, he curated a streetwalker girl, um, who, her name is Mia, Thea, Mia Dar Darton, or Farton, or however the fuck you pronounce that shit. Like, I have to pronounce words and stuff now? You know, it's also the character that Shed Wittick, in issue 44, gave HIV. Now, that character is the basis for Thea Queen, the sister of Oliver Queen, in the CW show, which is the most awesome show of all time. Um, right now, superhero TV done right. You know, uh, that's just awesome and amazing. Stop recording. She's awesome and amazing. And for all, Deborah, whoo, please, just take it safe. Be safe. You don't have to spend money. To, to do a podcast, and you don't have to invest in yourself, and you don't have to put yourself out there like that. You can just put apples in a box and go and teach brown kids. Which I'm not going to disrespect anyone, everyone who's visually impaired and wants to put apples in a box and teach brown kids. That's awesome and amazing. But what I'm going to do, and like the song says, go to Atlantic City Comic Con. And start an escort service for all the right reasons. Set up top at the sh uh, set up shop at the top of Four Seasons. Blind Adam and Kid Rock are the real, real McCoy. We're going to Atlantic City Comic Con to be motherfucking cowboys. Now testify! Because, you know, you just so many great guests. You got. You know, the Finn, Finn from Adventure Time, you got, you know, uh, Bob Layton, who was on one of the most iconic runs of Iron Man, Iron Man 128, Demon in the Bottle. Great comic. You should, you know, find a copy. Email me at comicpinvipg at gmail.com. I'll hook you up with a copy. You know, uh, but, uh, you got J. Scott Campbell. You have cast a lot of cast members from uh, Once Upon a Time. You know, and if you're a kid from the 80s, you know, or in the, the 90s, excuse me, and you watched Fox Kids, or you watched WB, the WB what was what became the CW, uh, you know, you probably saw Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Tiny Toons. Well, and this is as a fan and as a retailer, as a podcaster, as a filmmaker. And it's not all about Pimp of Pips, the Rated X, King of Sex, the Red Bull tripping. Oh, he's pimping. CEO, you better get to know. You know, I cannot wait to Rob Paulson, Jess Darnell, uh, Marles Marchin, if that's if I'm, if I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. You know, I, once again, Girl Scout, Girl Scout cookies really messed me up today. Um, 
But, uh, you know, I, I cannot wait. I mean, Pinky and the Brain is just awesome and amazing cartoon about their laboratory mice whose genes have been spliced. And Brain, I actually, my theory is that Pinky's really the smarter of the two. But Pinky's like me, he's insane, he's crazy, and just, NARF, Zach, NARF, you know, and he'll just like spread an idea out of his butthole, put down, but gee, Brain, where are we going to get that type of stuff that size? And Brain thinks he knows everything, but if he would just listen, just calm down and listen to Pinky, like for example, in the Christmas episode, Christmas special, YouTube, it, you know, or I think it's on season one of uh, the DVD box sets. I haven't watched it in a while. I know I have it somewhere. But, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, if you just listen to Pinky in the, every so often, his plans might work and he would take over the world. You know? But it's just an amazing cartoon Amazing voice cast, you know, Adrian Romano did such a great job of casting it. Hey, Adrian, I hope you're doing well. See you at one of the Comic Cons coming up. You know, can't wait for Batman 66. Oh, and if you're a fan of Batman 66, holy Atlantic City Comic Con, www.acbc.com. There'll be a 1966 Batmobile, a 1992 Batmobile, a 1995 Batmobile, a DeLorean, an Ecto-1, if you're a fan of geek cars, then you're going to love this place. Hey, Eric! Yo, Long, Long Beach Auto, Auto Shop, how you doing, buddies? Yeah, Chef Eric, he's awesome. You know, uh, but, uh, yeah, they'll be there. You know, TJ Money and I will be there with them. We'll be next to each other, wheeling, dealing. Go, woo! Uh, but, uh, you know, Adam West, Burt Ward, Julie Newmar, get your 66 Batman stuff signed, get photos taken. You know, if you saw the news the other day, there's going to be an animated Batman 66 movie. It's going to reek of awesomeness. It's going to be awesome. Sauce! But, uh, get, the, get up a personal, you know. Adam West, Mayor West and Family Guy. Jess Arnell, I just found this out today, was Tim in uh, the Cleveland show. But just such an amazing guest list, such an amazing... If you're a cosplayer, whether you're a professional cosplayer, like my good friend uh, Carrie Lachance, whether you do cosplaying at all the stuff, like uh, my good friend Cassie Putty, a.k.a. Starlet Diana Prince, you know, whatever you're rocking it out at other shows in some type of Hello Kitty outfit, like my good friend Tara Patrick, whether you're Marissa Jade, you know, and you're a professional cosplayer, come and go become, try to get, become Mrs. Cosplay USA, or Mr. Cosplay USA. You know, uh, if, you, if you're a filmmaker and you have a short, you have a movie, and it's geek-related about comic books or sci-fi or documentary in the, in the industry, the Geek Film Fest, deadline is April 2nd, you know, but enter your stuff. Comic book conventions are the greatest thing to get along, and it's great to be in one of the greatest industries of all time, you know, and yeah. And just to be able to get together and make friends. And I, I, sometimes I think the non-geek world can learn a lot from us. Because for four days, we become fam familia, we become family. And we, you know, like I said, I'm a little emotional for some reason. But I don't know where, where I'd be without comic books and pop culture and, you know, entertainment and adult entertainment. And all the beautiful stuff I get to talk about in this podcast. And it's just awesome. So this convention will be awesome. So May 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, the Atlantic City Convention Center, www.acbc.com. Uh, you know, uh, now, I 
have another idea for the guys in the office over at Red Bank. You know, Red Bank, home of the world famous Janet Silent Bob Secret Stash, 35 Broadsteed, Red Bank, New Jersey, don't know the zip code, 732-758-0508. Tell Walter and Ming and Mike and Brian that Blind Adam the Comic Pimp sent you. Uh, but you guys have Ming, Mike, and Brian as guests. Where's Walter Flanagan? Where's Steve, babe? No, no, he's never, he's fanboy, never mind. Where's, tell him, Mr. Tell him, Steve, babe! What, he pussed out? Doesn't want to go to a comic book convention appearance? Hey, Walt, you couldn't get a, a hot chick to watch the store for a couple hours when you signed autographs? You know? So this is what I say, I say you grab Walt Flanagan, and you have him do sketches that weekend. Guys, we want Walt E. Flanagan at the shed ACBC. I, I signed that petition right now. Yeah. And this way, if they, if you guys take, the, take up my idea about the 20th anniversary screening of Mall Rats, you have Kevin, Jason Muse, Michael Rooker, Brian Johnson, who was Steve Babe, Walt Flanagan, who's fanboy. And then you get Jason Lee, Sharon Doherty. She's still hot. I don't care. Sharon Doherty, she's like great. She's like gilf hot now, but what the heck. Gilf, grandma brother like the fuck. For people who don't know any better. Um, I'll do, I'll do a definition of all the ilfs at, at a future date. Uh, yeah, Sharon Doherty. What's America's sweetheart? One of the greatest bitch to ever wreck a 91210 set. You know, uh... Uh, and then you'd have Sibley, and it would be, uh, that, that would be awesome sauce! Um, but I'm going to rest my voice for a little bit. Uh, you know, one foot in the gutter, one fist in the gold, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. I thank you all for being a loving family. I thank you all for supporting the podcast. Um, I may have another podcast coming up in a little bit. You know, I could do it. For my Flash Arrow reviews. Hey, ACBC. I don't know if some of the whatever is going on in England affects you guys. But could you get Grant Gustin? Or the actress that plays, uh... Grant Gustin would be an awesome guest for you guys. So would, you know, the Flash. Also, uh... The actress that plays, uh, Caitlin Snow would have been aw would be awesome. So well, Hollis still the hottest actress in all of CW. I don't care. But I, I love you guys. Peace out! Awesome. So out! 3316. Stop recording button. Enter.